Hey there lovely viewers, you're watching Bipolar Opposite. I'm your guy, Tim Coven. Today, I will be telling you my self-control strategies. Now, y'all know I'm bipolar, obviously. Otherwise, it should be called Bipolar Opposites. And if you didn't know... <sighs> now, when do I use self-control strategies? Well, of course, when a manic episode is imminent, that means I'm either go absolutely hyper, or when I'm angry to calm down before I hulk out, or, you know, I'm depressed and feeling suicidal, you know, I don't want to go on, so, you know, whenever I'm in a bad mood or down or whatever, well, that's when I need a self-control strategy. Now, what self-control strategies does someone like me use? Well, here we go. Counting. I mean, yes, you know the numbers, one, two, three, four, that's basic. And you know, just say, okay, make a list of things in your head for each number. Say, no, it's like, say, one, boobies, two, vagina. All random words that just feel like tying them together. But counting isn't always my, my style. So, I have number games. <laughs> my favorite being commuter. I'm not telling you what it is. It's my secret. My game is... You want to come with a computer game? You come on me on because I am not telling you my secret. Or, you know, sometimes I'm really, really down. You know, I sing random songs. Do I do it loud? No, I do it under my breath. Because if I say it loud, people think I was crazier than I already am. That would just seem really weird. Yes, I said random singing, but not random singing. Or, you know, the ABCs. Okay, now I know you're thinking... A, B, C, D, it's boring, it's stupid, whatever, but try associate. I mean, a lot of people do association words with, like, say, for A, apple, B, bear, things like that. Come with a letter writing for each letter of the alphabet. Do they get boring? Yes. But, here's the fun thing. See, I was in a special education program in high school for people with mental illness and other types of things. And the guy who ran the program was, came up with the evil ABCs. Now, mm, <laughs> I got your attention. What could the evil ABCs be? Well, here we go. It is coming up with an insult or swear word for each letter of the alphabet. For example, A is for asshole. B is for bitch. You get the idea. It's really fun. And I say about midway through, you forgot what your problem was. So you're focusing so hard on coming up with any word for this. It's so fun. I mean, really. If you don't have a need for self-control strategies, try it. It's so much fun. Or, you know, exercising or, you know, going for walks. I mean, last season I talked about an accident I had when I was walking at night. It was clipped by car mirror. Bruised up a storm. Another internal damage, but bruised up a storm. That, well, so when exercising, like walking... Isn't available? Well, if I'm home alone, I had the video game Just Dance. That exercise. That is really good exercise and really good coming down. Or, you know, basic. I'm a writer. Love to read, so read a nice book. Or, if I can, TV or a movie, you know, just something fun, like superhero movies or something stupid. I don't care. Like, I got a Dylan movie, whatever. Anything I can grab my hand on, I put that Blu ray in and boom, I'm happy. Or, you know, writing video games. Video games are great, takes your con concentration away, and you get lots of new world. And that, that's really cool. Like, or something else, engaging or relaxing. Or, here's a good one, since I'm a writer, what do you think? Writing. Of course I'm going to write. I'm a writer. Or, you know, for some people, they like coloring books. So, even I have adult coloring books that I use, so if I really need to focus... Well, that's what I do. So, I'm offering these as what I do, and offering them for you to use as a suggestion. You can take it or leave it, but they work for me, so they can't be bad. So next time you're coming, out.